Hi there, I'm Arnav Shah, and what we have here is a university grant system. So this was a team-based web application project that manages a system of university grants and the people using them. So a user, you know, depending on their permissions, whether they're a professor or a dean or chair or just a viewer, can you know do can look at grants or add grants or edit the grant information. And they can look at people's profiles or others' profiles, their own edit their own profiles depending on their permissions, of course. Now, this is a project that was fully object-oriented programming using Beans, and it also used the persistence for database storage. This was a term-long project for CSE 308 Software Engineering under Professor Rob Kelly of Stony Brook University. The project started with uh, five team members, but towards the end of the semester, we came down to two members, uh, me and uh, another student named Laszlo Ring, and completed the core of the project. So let's dive in and look at it. So let's begin by creating an account. Okay, and give him a name. And the kind of permission we're requesting. So this kind of privilege level. And put in an ID. Okay. Now this is sent to an admin for approval, so let's go in and log in as an admin and approve this account. Alright, so we have pending new accounts here, and you see this is the account we just created, so let's approve that. Alright, great. So now let's log into this account. Next what we can do is edit our profile. Let's go and do that. And fill in, you know, any other information we have here. And other information. Okay, we can save our profile information. So now that's updated. Uh, we, what else we can do is, well, the heart of this is to create research projects and, you know, to manage them. So let's give this an ID. And Okay, so we'll create this project. Now the project doesn't get created automatically. It has to be approved by an appropriate uh, administrator, either a dean or chair or an admin. So let's go and approve that. And you see new projects here, and here's the project we just created. So let's approve that. All right, great. So we'll log back in. And great. Now we have our projects over here, and you can take a look at it, and you can edit some details on it. So okay. fill in this information, and now save that information. The last sort of function we'll look at is searching. So you can search for a project, do that, and you see it come up on the list, take a look at the project, information on it. Now obviously you can't edit someone else's project. Same with the profile. You can see their profile, which is cool, but you can't edit anything in it. And you can also search by a name. man from any department and do a search and it'll come up. You can view their profile or you can view a list of their projects. And you can see a whole bunch of their projects come up. Take a look at any one of them. Well, that's about it for the functions in this program. I hope you enjoyed learning about this program and thank you for watching.